So till now we did the concept of simple equations in one variable, right? But before we started getting into that specific topic, we also indicated about simultaneous equations in two variables. Basically both these mean the same thing. And in fact, you'll come across so many word problems which can be done framed in terms of a linear equation in one variable as well as a linear equation in two variables, either ways. But solving simultaneous equations in two variables is somewhat similar to that of solving in one variable. In fact, one of the major ways this is elimination method or you have el equating the coefficient method. In all of them, what you're going to observe is that we're going to convert, simplify the simultaneous equations and convert them into an equation with one variable. So, for example, if you have an equation like this, say you have 2x plus 3y is, say, 7. 2x plus 3y is 7. Now, if you look at this equation, you want to find out the various values of x and y which will satisfy this equation. If you put an arbitrary value, you could take x as 0 and y will be 7 by 3 or y is 0 and x would be say uh, 7 by 2. There are numerous such values which will satisfy this equation. So if you look at a linear equation in two variables, if you look at only one equation, you will have infinite number of solutions. You can put in any arbitrary value of x over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, half, and you will get a different value of y. Same with y. Hence, you have infinite solution. And paradoxically, when you have infinite solutions, it's as good as not having a solution. Just imagine you say uh, twice of one number and thrice of another number is 7. What will be the number? It's very, very indefinite because you can have umpteen combinations of x and y. But suppose you solve it with another condition, wherein I say x minus y is equal to 1. So it's like telling twice a number plus thrice of another number is 7. The answers are indefinite. But if you combine it with a condition that the difference of the numbers is going to be 1, then there are two conditions that are satisfied. So the intersection of these two, that is both the conditions will be satisfied by only one pair of x and y. And that is called the solution or they are called the roots of this particular equation. In this particular case, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 will form the solution. Now how we get the solution? We have umpteen number of ways. For example, you multiply this particular equation by if you multiply this by 3, you get 3x minus 3y is equal to 3. And then if you add this equation and this equation, you get 2x plus 3x, which is 5x. 3y minus 3y is 0. And 7 plus 3 is 10. So x will turn out to be 10 by 5, that is 2. So one pair, and then to find the value of x, you substitute this in this particular equation. So you get 2 minus y is equal to 1, which means that y is equal to 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, the pair of values which satisfy this particular pair of condition is x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. Hence, the importance simultaneously at the same time. An equation in two variables can never be solved in isolation. It has to be simultaneously solved with another equation to arrive at a unique solution. For example, suppose you say uh, sum of two numbers is say 52 and the difference of the same two numbers is say 2. Now we can, if you use one variable, we can take one number as the x and the other one is 52 minus x because their sum is, right, the sum is 52 and their difference is 2. So you form an equation this way. The same thing we can even write this way. Sum of the numbers is 52 and the difference of the same numbers is 2. So we solve them simultaneously. This on solving will give you 2x minus 52 is 2 and 2x is 54 and x is 54 by 2, 27. Whereas these ones you add equation 1 
and equation 2 if you add these two y and minus y will get cancelled and you get 2x is equal to 54 again x is 27 here if you get x is 27 the other number is 52 minus 27 that is 25 here if x is 27 if you substitute over here 27 plus y is 52 in that case y is 25 so either ways you get 27 and 25 as the form but the form in which this equation has been made, the way it has been formed is using one variable. Here you are using two variables and additionally, since there are two variables, you need two equations to solve them and we solve them simultaneously. So this in a nutshell is a simple idea of what simultaneous equations in two variables mean. Actually, an equation in two variables can never be solved in isolation. We solve them in correlation with another equation and arrive at a common solution.